he needs to go to. The uh, It's a little bit uh, edgy. It's real. I think he represented an American male with this kind of talk about getting erections. I think guys love that kind of talk. <laughs> I think there's something there. All you got to do is log your hours on stage, man. And and the accent is so I'm sexy. Asking, I'm not asking for something for free. I just, that, what you told me was one of the greatest things ever. I had something going with Jackie the Joke Man's Lost again. <laughs> Line four. Okay, All right, Jackie. Let's pick up on Jackie. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Jackie, what do you think of this guy, Kevin? I think he's an idiot and he's not funny. I didn't even remember his first name until you just said it. That's how boring he is. Yeah. He's about as funny as Jackie the Joke Man. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to go get a job at the 7 Eleven with his wife and right. call it over. I yeah, mean, well, seriously, he does not have any appeal. Who cares about his fucking erection and the smoking hot nurse? I was lost halfway through before he even, he didn't even finish the story. That's how. Uh, Jackie, give me a stand up. Away, yeah, America, person. Uh, America has spoken. Jackie, I think you represent most of the listenership, but that doesn't mean that Kevin should stop doing it. I really believe as much as that guy isn't appealing now, <laughs> Who knows? He could turn into something funny. Hey, he Is that Tracy he's Norman? too big at keg parties with a bunch of drunks, maybe out in the woods. <laughs> That's where he would be good at. He totally sucks. I love you, Mark. You're smoking hot. And Greg, I love oh, I your love show. You. I listen to it all the time. I'm a trucker, right. and you guys keep me coming here. I appreciate it. But that dude really right, blows. And what was funny <laughs> earlier is he said he wanted to be part of the Whack Pack. How are you going to get him into the white pack? He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, well, that's... Good point, Jackie. Here's the thing I'm about getting him into the bye -bye. So long. Don't call back. Bye -bye. We don't want to hear you. Oh, oh, oh I thought you were saying us. Good. Here's <laughs> the thing about getting into the white pack. Is this really like... I don't know the rhyme or reason, but I think it's maybe Howard's greatest gift is recognizing who's going to be the next Beetlejuice or who's going to be the next, you know, whoever, like... Oh, they had me on hold. Nobody else can, this, can figure that out. And it's completely organic, like you said. They had a contest a couple years ago. I don't remember, like, who's the next oh, Wattpack? Right. And some guy named Hillbilly Jim or something won. Yeah. You never heard from him again. So, so what it, it's got to be very organic, and yeah. it's got to be all Howard. And, like, there's an argument about whether Tan Mom's whack pack, okay? Yeah. To me, she's not. Is she funny in the show? Absolutely. She's great content. But she was famous before Howard yeah. got to her. Yeah. So that immediately eliminates her, right. okay? Howard makes them stars, not just the opposite, you know? Right. Uh, that's why I eliminate her as a whack packer. But is she funny all day, and could I listen to her all day? Absolutely. Greatest ra whack packer of all time. Eric the Midget. Yeah. Eric the Midget. There is no discussion. I love Beetlejuice. Don't get me wrong. But he's... But <laughs> Beetlejuice he was not really a fan of the show. Yeah. He knew... You know what I'm saying? Eric the Midget was a, like, a, such a fan that he hated the show. Yeah. He hated that he loved it. Yeah. And he had so much... There's so much gold. There's I so know. many... Go I mean, just pure... With the Johnny... Uh, uh, I was uh, Frado. Frado. Yeah, that whole like I, I combination, know. that tag team, uh, going to um, you know, getting shows on TV and having all these demands, you know, like yeah. move the production to San Francisco yeah. 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 from Albuquerque. Yeah. And he was serious. And the, the Pepsi thing, oh, he's phenomenal. When he died, it was really like you felt like this chunk of the show was lost forever. Like that they, like they got to do some serious work to fill that void. No doubt. And you yeah. never, they never have. Yeah. You know, I mean, we still talk about it today. You know? Well, maybe Kevin. Maybe Kevin will maybe, fill that maybe void. Kevin will. Okay, I let's. Think Jackie should. She was awesome. Hi. Yeah. It's funny. She was good. Thank you, All right, Mark. Let's talk to this. I don't know who this is, but I'm being told to pick it up. I love Welcome it. Welcome to the Great Fitzsimmons Show. I'm here with Mark, Mark McGrath. Mark McGrath said I was good. They hung up. Oh. Awesome. Oh, he said right, I was awesome. Here's one I don't agree with, but I'll I'll hear them out. Stanley, who do you like? I knew I loved him for a reason.